please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. My name is Dave Moss. For over 20 years now, I've been helping riders maximize the performance and life of the tires on their motorcycles. This is Contact Patch. Here's a preview. Depending what your motorcycle came with on the showroom floor, there are other options for your rear tire size. Now depending on what you choose, it's going to change the balance point of the motorcycle. Ideally, we want X to be in the middle so the motorcycle is flat. If you've got a standard, we might prefer a very slight bias forward for a sport bike. But those are really all we're looking for for the road. We're not looking for anything else. In that case, based on rear tires, we have lots of different sizes to choose from. That's just to get started with. In that size, based on your rear wheel diameter or width, excuse me, rear wheel width. Then we've got, the question becomes, what if this 18060 is actually taller than the 19055? All right, so we have the tire that's coming off, which is a Dunlop 18060, and we're putting on the new Michelin, and this is a 19055. So right now we can see there's quite a difference. So the Dunlop is taller, but that's a 18060 and vice versa through this range because there's no universal mold which one do you pick if we are trying to get another tire and we can't get that exact size and we have to do this because it's our daily driver and our commuter well our bike just did that because circumference wise generally you move down in size, the circumference is less, and the bike changes its geometry, and then requires a geometry correction in order to make sure that what you've got is better. So that deals with the front of the bike. Let's deal with the back. Let's say we have a very slight bias with a sport bike. Catch the full video at DaveMossTuning.com. Dave Moss can tune your suspension no matter where you are on the planet via his remote tuning service. Contact Dave on Facebook or by email, dave at davemosstuning.com.